Welcome everyone to famed Sanford City in between the hedges in Athens, Georgia. Home to the Bulldogs and 90,000 of their closest friends. And a game like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, there's history and tradition, but right here, right now, there is tremendous intensity and bitterness on this field. You can feel it. As we'll see the number 17 team in the country, the Clemson Tigers, taking on the number one team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. Touchback ball spotted at the 25. The Tigers offense trots out there to open this game. Well, Kirk, you could just feel the emotion, the intensity of this rivalry game right now. Well, one thing we know is you work year round for a rivalry game, and now it's right before your eyes. Let's see how these guys play today. Down goes the quarterback. It's a sack. Well, the offense tries to catch this defense napping her on the first play of the game. And how about the pressure to come up with a big sack to start this game? Listen to the crowd energy here in the early going. This is a tough, tough environment for visitors. Using the ground game here, tailback has the handoff. When they bring him down, that's a very solid game, but still well short of the mark. It's third and six, a challenging spot here on the opening drive. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. With the catch, it's Brining Stewart. Tackle made it a 41. That's a nice game getting closer to midfield. That's exactly what you want to see here from this offense. A big third down conversion. Offensive line did their job, giving a quarterback enough time. Great read, good execution, throws the ball accurately. And now you got some momentum going here on this opening drive. I'm going to hand it off to the back. A solid eight-yard gain brings up a second and two. Great job on the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Offense getting set, second down play here. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. You know, a lot of times, college quarterbacks, they're more comfortable working to the outside. Here's an example of a quarterback with a full field read, and he hits a big play in the middle. The Tigers hustle to the line to run the hurry up. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. Touchdown, Tigers! Setting the tone early on offense. And Kirk, how important is that to get off to a positive start to draw first blood in a rivalry game like this? Well, Chris, as you know, in a rivalry game, there's so much emotion. So to be able to put a touchdown on the board first just sets the tone for a big day. makes it 7-0 to open score. Here's the kickoff team now, sent to boot this one away. And he takes this side to five. 
And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. The Bulldogs offense takes the field. The first chance we had to see them today. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Here's the handoff. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But what I've been always impressed with defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Hands it off on the counter. You stop him, but it's a first down. Well, great patience and acceleration to be able to pick up this first down by this back from Georgia. You think of Georgia backs, you think about Herschel Walker right away, right? Sonny Michelle, Todd Gurley, Nick Chubb, Noshawn Marino. I mean, the list goes on and on of great Georgia backs. It's a first and ten play coming up for the offense. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Running out of time in the pocket. Under pressure, just lets it go. And he just throws that one away. Took a big shot, but avoids the sack. And remember, the last time these teams met, it came right down to the wire. Well, Chris, there's so many great rivalry games that we all look forward to every single year. But with these two teams, it just always seems to be a tight matchup. Offense will try to convert a third and long from the 27. We'll see if the defense brings the blitz. Lofting it toward the left sideline. Catch made down inside the 15. Tackle made quickly, but a big chunk play for this offense through the air. Well, when the dust settles and the games are over, it's how many big plays did you create and how many did you prevent? This is a huge play for this offense. Now, can they get the ball into the end zone or they have to settle for three? This Georgia offense is moving quickly down the field. And the single back takes the handoff. What down after picking up five yards, so second and five. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Makes a quick catch. And he shoved out of bounds with the defense short of the first down marker. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. This is crucial. Defense needing a stop on third down, trying to force a field goal. Can he get there on the ground? Fights his way in for the score. Touchdown, dogs! What an opening drive by this offense, and especially this running back. Every single time they gave him the ball, he's getting positive yards behind that big offensive line. And if I'm the defensive coordinator, you better make some adjustments and do it in a hurry. Got to get more guys committed to the line of scrimmage to stop this run game. And now here comes the point after attempt. And the PAT is good. on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. He's going to return it from near the goal line. 
He'll be tackled at the 18. That's a good coverage there. And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. They scored a touchdown in their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. Get some space on the 30. Tackled at the 40. That'll learn a fresh set of downs. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. Game moves the ball to the 40. It'll be first down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Pulls it in. It's Brown. Explosive gain across midfield. They'll spot it about the 35. I love how this quarterback is finding this slot receiver. Not only is he tough to handle, but it's what he's doing after the catch. He has such wiggle and quickness. He's tough to bring down, and you see more positive yards after the catch here. And the Tigers hustle to the line to run the hurry up. Looking to throw it on first down. That's reeled in. It's Brown. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. That completion sets up a second down play. Looking downfield, it's Klubnik. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag brings up third down. Right, this is the one thing I love about this running back is his ability to get involved in the pass game. Runs a great route, just doesn't come down with a catch. So let's see what the play caller likes here on third and short on the plus 27. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. And they pick up the first out of the 23, getting closer to the red zone. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Hudson getting set with a first and 10 now. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. And he's brought down. Offense going backwards with the sack. Some big plays through the air have been a big part of the story so far. These receivers have shown up today. And after a promising start, we hope that both these teams will just continue with more of this action. After the sack on first down, it's second down. Keeping it on the ground here. Unleashes the stiff arm. He'll go down, but that stiff arm earned him first down yardage. A really good run by this running back. The defense fortunate to be able to bring him down inside the 10-yard line, but it's first and goal for the offense. The Tigers hoping to punch it in here. They have first and goal. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, that play just didn't have much of a chance at all from the snap. Quarterback hands this off and just nowhere to go. It's almost like the defense was anticipating the play call, and they put themselves in a position to come up with a nice tackle for a loss. Ball back at the 10-yard line now for second and goal. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. He'll avoid the tackle there with a the slide. Boy, Chris, I thought when he took off on his scramble, I thought he had a chance to maybe get it to the end zone. But the defense does a nice job. Yeah, they gave up a couple yards, but they kept him out of the end zone. And the offense facing a third and goal from a long way away. Dropping back. It's Klubnik. Pass caught. Can he get in? Can't quite make it. Forced out at the two-yard line.
So here comes the kicking team on the field. They'll settle for three. It's a short attempt, but from the left hash mark, a severe angle here. Field goal try, no good. He missed it, and the game remains tied. That's a missed opportunity for some points here. The way they were moving the football, I thought maybe a touchdown, at the very least three points, but instead, he shanks it. Georgia offense is back out on the field. Let's see if he can keep that passing game going. The last position, very efficient and precise. And the quarterback keeps it on the option. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Brings up second down. After the first down loss, it's second and long from the 17th. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. They look to throw it here on second down. The short hands. It's better. And they bring him down after a solid gain, but it's still well short of the first down mark. This is an example of a quarterback in his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. Tight end goes in motion before the snap. On third down, he drops to throw. And he's looking to make a big play downfield. Tackle made after a big game. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. First and ten play coming up. The offense with some pre-snap motion. On the handoff, they'll test the right side here. Well, Kirk, you played in plenty of rivalry games. How do they feel different from the others? Well, first, rivalry games, and, and depending on who the coach is, this is a game you think about all year. You know, you're working out in the weight room. You're doing drills in summer two-a-days. Everything is focused on getting to this game and playing your very best. Second down after that run on the previous play. And the same runners got it again. The game good for just a few yards. The defense swarming to the football. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Offense looking to keep the drive alive. It's third down. Dropping back. It's back. Receiver makes the grab. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Well, when you play zone defense on third down and you don't get pressure from your defensive line, you're going to give a quarterback a lot of time to be able to find an open receiver and eventually get the first down. Not surprised at all that they're able to convert. The dogs pick up enough yardage to keep this drive rolling. They'll run it from the gun. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. My gosh, this offensive line's got to do a better job of blocking. The defense was zero in on the ball carrier and absolutely nowhere to go for the offense. Second down play coming up for this offense. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Looking to pass here on second down. Grab behind the line, it's Thomas. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. The clock has stopped. We've reached the two-minute warning before halftime. Eighth play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. Let's it fly out of the wideout. And it's complete downfield. They make the stop just short of the first. Looks like inches to go, and now fourth down. Timeout called by the defense, their first of the half, as they try to make some adjustments here. No problem. Knocks it right through. Chris, they get the three points, but looking back at it, fourth and inches. Pretty conservative call there. I really thought they would have gone for it. Kicker out there again to 
booted away. Fields it inside the five yard line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Okay, the Clemson offense heads back out out of the field. If they want to cut into this lead before halftime. They have to work quickly now. Fires it to the wide out. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Looking downfield, it's Klubnik. And this one is caught. Seven-yard game sets up a third and three. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. The clock is still running. They'll have to hurry up here, but it's a crucial third down. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. He pulls it in for a big game. Stopped at the 43, but that's enough to make a first down. We'll see if the defense stays in zone after that big play. If they can change things up on this drive and get a little bit more aggressive. So it's a first down here. The clock is stopped temporarily, but they'll get to the line quickly. And he'll set up to throw. And he lobs it deep down the middle. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. And they've got him at the floor, but a big gain of that catch and run. And a timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. Play action here on first down. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. And he gets to the end zone. Touchdown, Clemson. Quarterback doesn't see anybody open. Kirk says, no, I'll just do this myself. How about this? What a luxury. Anytime you can make something happen, even when all the receivers are covered, everything's taken away, you take it yourself. And good luck to the defense trying to stop that. Extra point makes the lead four. So the offense getting some momentum before halftime of the touchdown. Now they kick off and hopes the defense can get a quick stop. Return starts from inside the five. They'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. Backed up this close to the end zone in the final minute. Let's see if they just decide to take care of the football and look toward the second half. And he'll loft this one deep to the left side. And the pass is dropped incomplete. Would have had a huge gain. Took his eye off the ball. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? After the incompletion on first down, looking to throw it again. Makes a quick round. Tackle made after the completion. One thing we know for sure, I don't know as a play caller, you can make that call without a quarterback who can throw it with a big arm. He put that on a rope. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. Back to throw. It's back. Intercepted, picked off by the defense. And he's got some open field ahead. Takes the pick to the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. And a pick six. A monster play by this defense here, Kirk. That defender showed a lot of athletic ability there with the ball in his hands. I wouldn't be surprised if the head coach watching that thought about maybe giving him some reps as a returner after that touchdown. So the 
try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more. Meadows going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. And the Tigers will kick this away to start the second half. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. And they'll start the third quarter here on the ground. Makes the catch for the defense. Breaks in the ball and it's a short game. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups. And the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid to line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Third down. This offense could really use a conversion here down multiple scores. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. To throw. It's back. Throws to the tight end. He makes the grab. And he's marked out of bounds after an excellent game, but there is a flag on the field. This one might be coming back. Quarterback hammered after the throw. That's an obvious 15-yard penalty. He's going to hand this off. Finding some room with the 25. Tackle, but first down. Well, this is exactly where you find out what you're made of as a team. When you're trailing, coming out of the half, how do you respond? Well, we know how this running back's going to respond. What a statement to get this second half started. Georgia setting up for the first and 10 now. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. Boy, the defense rolls the dice here on this screen pass. If they don't hit this quarterback, this is a big play. But give them credit. They were able to get to him before they were able to complete that pass. So second down after the incompletion. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Launching one to the end zone. And he will score. Touchdown, Bulldogs. That's a crucial response for this offense, but still, plenty of work to do here in the third quarter. Well, I love that they're still fighting and competing. You can tell they've made some adjustments at half and try to get them back into this game. And that score is a great start. Offense still out there. Down by five. They're going to go for the two-point conversion and make this a three-point game. To throw. It's back. Misses the receiver. Incomplete. A great job here by the defense on this conversion. Nice heads-up play to prevent the two-point try. Getting set to kick the ball off now. They'll return it from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And a powerful Clemson offense is back out there. Remember last time they scored a touchdown. 
Can they keep clicking here? Or will the defense come up with a stop? Caught on the outside. It's Brown. The key here, Chris, is the timing by the quarterback. The fact he got the ball out quickly gave his receiver a chance. One more hitch or a slight hesitation, and that's an incompletion or an interception. Second down after that previous play. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Caught behind the line. It's Adams. And he'll step out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage there. The defense pursuit forced him out. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. And he'll drop back here on third down. Pulls it in. It's Brown. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Well, this guy is having some kind of day. That's another catch for him. And this time out of the slot, he picks up the first down. See what the call is on first and ten. From the shotgun, drops back looking for an open man. And they get the completion. It'll be enough for a first down, brought down at the 43. The defense spreads all over the field playing zone, trying to make this quarterback make a mistake by throwing it into coverage. But he finds a soft spot on the curl and picks up a first down. This comes an offense moving quickly down the field. Ball handed off. Just a short gain this time. They're able to get him down. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Here's the second down play. Trying to find room. It's Maffa. Runner finding some space there. That's a solid gain on the ground. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. It's third down after that run. Try and muscle for the first down. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. Man, I love the toughness from this offense here on third down and short. Being able to get behind a big physical offensive line, they get a hat on a hat, get enough of a push, and the back is able to get behind there and find just enough real estate to pick up the first down. Clemson getting set with a first and ten coming up. From the shotgun, handoff inside. They make the tackle, but that's an excellent game. Moves the ball to the 33. Boy, how about that play, Chris? That thing just opened up the back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pickup there on first down. You set it down to the offense, first and ten. Back to throw. It's Klubnik. And it's incomplete, even on a first down throw. He was under some heavy pressure. Well, everybody talks about sacks, and they're very important. But sometimes just the rush, the pressure affecting the quarterback is just as effective. He didn't have a clean throwing lane, and they forced the incompletion. Play action fake, looking to throw. And he pulls in the catch. They bring him down at the seven. The offense set up now with a first and goal. This is the risk you take as a defense coordinator when you play press man. You're betting that your guy's better than that receiver. Pretty good coverage, but how about the throw by the quarterback to take away any threat at all from that corner? The Tigers will line up now. It's first and goal. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Makes the catch. Can he get in? And he steps out of bounds. Just short of the end zone. Couldn't quite get there. That's what makes this tight end so dangerous. You can flex him out into that slot position. He shows you his versatility. He can be an inline guy that can block, but here he shows you what he can do with his hands. And this big crowd doing everything possible to inspire this defense down here near the goal line. 
keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. They stop him again. Back-to-back -back plays go nowhere here on the line. Maybe this stop is an indicator of what's to come for this defense. The offense, frankly, has been able to enforce their will in the first half, but maybe things are starting to change. And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. They'll try to run this one in. And we're able to get him down. Tell you what, for a tired defense that's been out on that field for a long time on this drive, what a stop there on third and goal. It brings us to fourth and goal. And as a head coach on the offensive side, when you put together this kind of drive and you're this close inside the three-yard line, you've got to come away here with a touchdown. The decision is not to go for it on fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. You missed it. No good. No good. And that miss keeps it a five-point lead. Well, that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. And now you can see he's hanging his head. A poor kicker. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. Their last possession was a beautiful, balanced touchdown drive. And the defense come up with answers this time. Finds room at the 30. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. One play moves the ball to the 45. It'll be first down. Quarterback will throw it off the one pass option. The defense makes the stop after the completion. And as we wrap up the third quarter, check out the comparison of these big play wide receivers. Both guys have been lighting it up so far today. set now for the fourth quarter. Who is going to make the crucial plays to take home this W? Important second down play coming up. The offense with some pre-snap eye candy. To the air. It's back. The throw complete to the running back underneath. And they wrap him up, but the gain is good enough for a first down. Chris, I love the versatility of this running back. We're seeing what he can do on full display on this drive. He's been running the football very well. This time, they get him the ball out of the backfield, catching it, and he gets another positive game. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Pre-snap motion from the offense. And he'll loft it to the end zone. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. Kristen, defense catches a break here. They got behind coverage. Looked like a big play, if not a touchdown. And the receiver just dropped the ball. Second down play coming up. Takes the handoff. It's ETN. And the defense smothers him for no gain. No game there. This defense has been getting sliced up on the drive, but they push back that time, Kirk. Yeah, kind of a bend-but-don't-break mentality by this defense. They have been giving up some big chunks here on this drive, but let's see if a stop like this can give them a little bit of confidence here. Now try to pressure the quarterback on these upcoming plays. Caught over the middle. It's ETN. He's not going to get the first down. It's fourth down now. The offense gets some positive yards here, but they're going to be short of the first down marker to set up fourth down. Really good job by the defense of tackling and the awareness to keep him short of that first down marker. So here we go. Down one score. They're going to go for it on fourth down. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. Makes the catch, and that is enough for a first down. And will head out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for a first down. Well, Chris, here's an example of what we always talk about. On fourth down, the receiver's got to run a route beyond the sticks. Great awareness to know exactly where he is. Quarterback makes the throw. Receiver gets hit, but he's beyond the sticks for the first down. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. 
Oh, and a chance at an interception in the end zone. Could not quite hold on to the ball. It's going to be second down. Boy, not only did they drop what looked like an interception in their own end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum in their favor. Now it's second down here. And the running back takes the handoff. But a quick stop of the defense. Game just two, so it's third and eight. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Motion now from the tight end. Back to pass. It's back. Looking to set up a screen pass here. Hey, the best thing that happens here, Chris, is he gets out of bounds. Gives the offense a chance to regroup, huddle up, make sure they have the right call here for this critical fourth down. Here we are late in a one-score game, and they're going to go for it on fourth down. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. Boy, the defense is in the right coverage here. It looked like they had exactly what they wanted to be able to come up with a stop here on fourth down. But there's the timing between a quarterback and the receiver. They knew exactly where they needed to go. Great timing and a first down. Using his legs, it's ETN. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. And they don't block the defensive end. It shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback. But he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. Makes a nice move there. Tackle finally made. That's a very solid gain, but not close to first down yard. Again. Chris, it's so easy to get excited about the receivers on the outside and their ability to make big plays, but the slot receivers are just as exciting, especially with their finesse, quickness, and ability to make guys miss in the middle of that field. Stops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Looking for six. Touchdown, Georgia. And they'll clean the fourth quarter lead. Man, Chris, this throw does give them the lead, and what's great is when you can really evaluate a quarterback is when the chips are on the table. Really, it's crunch time. You got to make good decisions, and you got to throw the ball accurately. He does both of those things here, and it gives them a lead here late in this game. Coach deciding to keep the offense out there, go for a two-point conversion and extend the lead to three. Receiver in motion now. To throw, it's back. Snags the quick throw. He'll make it into the end zone. So now they lead by a field goal here in the final quarter. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And he'll lead the kickoff right there. We'll start with the 25. Okay, the Clemson offense heads back out onto the field. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. Fires it to the wideout. The pass is incomplete. He dropped the first down attempt here across the middle. Now here's an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't quite have the concentration or the focus necessary. Ends up dropping it before he could bring it in. So after the incompletion, it's second down. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Grab down the middle. It's Brining Stewart. And it's good for a first down to the 36. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. 
Caught over the middle. It's Brown. Boy, this receiver in the slot is giving this defense all kinds of problems. He has another catch on the day. You may want to adjust out, get out of your base, maybe try five or six defensive backs on the field. Somebody that can match up more athletically against this slot receiver. That completion makes it second in medium. Off play action, he's looking to throw. Here's a shot toward the right sideline. Falls incomplete, broken up by the defender nicely that time. This is textbook defensive back play right here. He's in phase with the wide receiver. And the thing that I love, and a lot of defensive backs don't have the ability to do, he gets his head turned around, eyes on the quarterback, to know when the ball is coming to allow him to knock it away. Back to throw again. Grab down the middle. It's Williams. Brought down to the 46, good enough for a first down. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. And the Tigers pick up enough yardage to move the sticks. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. It's caught downfield. Touchdown, Clemson. And they claim the lead here in the final quarter. Well, what an unbelievable job by this offense, Chris. They put themselves in a position to put a touchdown on the board. They take the lead. And now we'll see if their own defense can hold on to that lead in these last couple minutes of the game. And with that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. So still an important piece of business to take care of here, the extra point. BAT up and good. The lead is four here in the final quarter. That makes the score. Clemson, 28, Georgia, 24. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Fielded in the end zone. It's Bell. And he's brought down at the 16. Would have been better off leaving it in the end zone for a touchback. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. So it's going to come down to this, Kirk. Can this offense execute when it matters most? Chris, it's a rivalry game. It's a two-minute drill. You work on this all year, especially this week. They've emphasized it. Now you get your opportunity. And don't forget about the defense out there. If they can get these guys off the field, they can secure a victory. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Dropping back. It's back. It's a quick grab. And the broken tackle there produces a solid game. And the offense will wisely spend a timeout after the play. Clock management is going to be very important here in the final minutes. That completion sets up a third down play. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Looking for the wide out. Cannot connect. Incomplete. And now fourth down. Oh, the quarterback and receiver just not quite on the same page. But the good news is it's fourth down and short. And trailing in this game, you've got to convert here to keep your hopes alive. Time running down. They'll go for it here on fourth down. Looking to throw for the first down. Quick throw to the left side. And it's incomplete. And the drive will fizzle out here in the final minutes. They'll use that running game, trying to bleed the clock here. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Clemson now operating in the red zone. Trying to run, it's Mafa. And that football is out, a potentially game-changing play, but who's got it? So the offense retains possession and avoids a catastrophic turnover. The offensive staff just took a collective sigh of relief. But I'd still anticipate that someone's going to pull that ball carrier side, give them a couple of choice words on the importance of ball security. 
Tackle made at the one yard line, but it'll be first and goal. And a player is down injured after that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check him out. First and goal. They play this right. They can pretty much put the game on ice. Ball is snapped, and the quarterback will just take a knee. Linebackers moving around trying to confuse the offense. So this one is tucked away. Time for victory formation. And the offense just takes a knee here. 